As we have said in parts one and part two of these uh, videos, you should not develop your rule. Should, you definitely should avoid uh, developing your rule and installing TCP replay and other tools in your production curator system. You should do that in a development system, a test system. Once you have it done, how you move it easily, really easily into your production system. So what you need to do, it's, uh, let's, let's take this as an example. We have this rule actually was created by uh, Chris Hankins uh, and we showed it in another of our videos. And by the way, this methodology uh, was sh shown to me by Amutash from IBM Poland. So thank you both uh, for that. Um, so this is a rule relatively complex because it, it co it's composed of two building blocks that were also created for this rule. This uh, USB, uh, DLP USB device connect and uh, web restricted uh, website access. These are building blocks that are part of this rule. Uh, and how do actually uh, export that? What we need to do is make sure that you uh, copy the actual uh, name of the of the rule, then open a uh, SSH session into your curator, and then, uh, well, that's the actual uh, path. You're going to type the following command. I'm making the screen bigger to see, and this is a uh, content management tool that is created precisely for that. So that's the syntax you are exporting a custom rule and that's the name of the actual custom rule and what this command will give you is an actual id the way that curator refers to this particular uh, rule so the content management tool is gonna uh, query the process and it's gonna give us this id and this is what you now need to copy as well because that is what we're going to use to export that rule. Now we are in the root directory, you know, and this is uh, what we have in here. And what you're going to be doing is that you're going to issue the following content management command, which is the export. And you say export the custom rule that is identified by this ID that we got with the previous query. And when you do that, you're going to get into the root directory a very small zip file and that's what you are going to be moving to the other machine. So notice that this uh, file was created for us, a zip file, and notice that it's telling me all the things that this rule actually incorporates. So nothing is uh, missing there. It's actually pretty good. I'm using here FileZilla, you can use whatever means that you want to move that file from that root directory of my test system into my actual host machine under the download uh, directory. And now all I need to do is go into the curator console into my target system. And once you are in your target system, in my case, this is the same system that I I created the rule into, but uh, if, if it were, uh, I have tested this and uh, many times and it works extremely well. So you go into extension management, the same place that you go when you want to install apps from the app exchange. It's that easy. And what you're going to do is you're, you're going to add that download file that you moved. Uh, I put it here on downloads. And this is the file that we moved. All you need to do is click open. And again, if this, this would be a, an app from the App Exchange. And when you click add, the system asks, well, this is not signed. This is not uh, you know, vetted by IBM. Uh, this is something you created yourself under your responsibility. But if you, if you get your rule working well, all you need to do here is click install and that's going to add it into your system with all the other things that you define in your rule as before. Of course, in my case, it's saying that it's going to replace a bunch of things because I already had it uh, in your system. That will not be the case. 
uh, notice that you know the even uh, lock sources are dragged into it uh, so very very nice uh, way of really exporting your entire rule when you click install you will have your rule move from your test or development system into your production and have your rule ready to fire as a word of caution sometimes when you are moving these uh, rules around and because you are dragging some log sources that were also uh, used and defined when uh, you were uh, creating that rule then you may need to deploy the changes which I'm sure you're familiar with 